Hello there, welcome to my first devlog on Luggage. Luggage is an arcade driving platformer physics game where you need to go through a track full of obstacles while trying to keep your goods. The game features a suspension system, different vehicles, obstacles and destructible objects. I'm George, I'm a professional software developer as well as gamer and game dev in my free time. I had this idea for a game where you drive a car through an obstacle course while balancing boxes on top. So I put together a prototype to see if the concept was interesting, and after playtesting with friends they told me it was fun, so I decided to continue the development. The first and most important feature was car control, for which I found a nice asset called Easy Suspension as foundation for the controls. After studying and modifying the code I got it working as I wanted. Suspension and torque are applied to each wheel separately, and as you can see here, one wheel is struggling, while the other one spins at full speed. I also wrote the driving script to be easily changed. All these options are configurable, so to create a new car or new car type, I simply need to tweak the values and match them to the feeling of the car. Also added the handbrake, which gives you the ability to drift if you feel like it. Just be careful not to drop your luggage. A friend of mine suggested different material types like glass or steel. By calculating the impact force when there's a collision, I apply damage to the object based on its fragility. One problem with this is that you can break objects just by smashing them against each other while driving, so I'm still deciding if these features should stay in the game. I don't want to interfere with the gameplay in a way that punishes the player for trying to be fast. Now for the fun part, the levels. The game will have campaigns with fixed levels that you need to clear to reach the next. You have to clear the course the fastest way possible while dropping the least amount of items. In the future, the high scores will be calculated based on a formula that takes the amount of delivered items and the time it took to finish the level. Here's an example of what a scoreboard would look like. This way, you can still get first place without delivering all the items, and that encourages players to drive faster. Time for some level design. This will be the biggest challenge. I'm still experimenting and I don't know what works well for this type of game, or even what's fun. So it will be a discovery process. I've been watching videos and taking notes, but it's quite a difficult subject. The levels must be fun and challenging, and allow skilled players to take faster routes. Here I noticed that the spinning traps were clipping with the car. That's because the blades were not being rotated with the rigid body. So to fix that, I simply needed to use the rigid body move rotation function. That took me several attempts, and weird things happened. But everything turned out nice in the end. One more thing, vehicle types. These are from Kenny's car kit, I'll leave a link to the package in the description. And until I model new ones, this will fit perfectly. Cars would have different properties like turn angle, suspension, mass, torque, max speed, etc. The goal is to allow players to choose the car they prefer for each level, in order to give depth to the gameplay. 
And that concludes this first devlog. I hope you found it interesting. I don't know how often I'll make these devlogs, since they take such a long time to make. But I will sure post updates frequently on Discord, Twitter and Patreon. If you feel like supporting me, I have the links to my pages below. Thank you very much for watching, that's all, peace.